students very good morning welcome to narayana live classes today for class 6 students we are going to discuss assignment number 73 on okay number system let us start with the first question the square root of 1764 is if we take 1764 let us try to write it in its standard form 1764 to write it in standard form what do you need you have convert it into product of primes you have to prime factorize it so with 2 let us divide because it is a new number 8 times, 8 times and 2 times again with 2, 4 times, 4 times, 1 time uh, it is not divisible by 2 because it is an odd number let us try with 3, sum of the digits is 9 so divisible by 3, so the whole number is divisible by 3 so 1 time that is 4 times, 7 times again 147 is sum of the digits 12 it is divisible by 3 so the number is divisible by 3 so again you can divide with 3, 49. 49 is a square of 7. So 7 square we can write, 7 into 7. So here, 1764 we can able to write as 2 into 3 into 7, 4 square. Because 2 square, 3 square, 7 square we have. So root over 1764 if you want, that becomes root over 2, 3 are 6, 6, 7 are 42. 42 whole square, that is otherwise. 42 root over 42 square is 42. So under root of 1764 is how much for us? 42. 42 is nothing but first option for us. That is the right answer. Let us see the next question. Find the square root of 3 to 4 9. If you take 3 to 4 9, even here you have to find out its prime factors. So let us try to do that. So it is not divisible by 2 because it is any odd number. 3 to 4 9. So 9 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 5, 18. 18 is divisible by 3. So we can divide this number with 3. So we have 1, 0, 8, 3. 1, 0, 8, 3 times of 3 is 3 to 4, 9. Again, 1 plus 8, 9, 9 plus 3, 12. Again, we can divide it with 3. So 3, 3 is 9 and 6, 3 is 1, 1 time. 361 is a square of 19. Okay. So it is only divisible by 19 here. So we can say it as 19 times of 9. Okay, now 3 to 4 9 is equal to 3 into 19, 4 square, right? So, root over 3 to 4 9 is how much? Root over 3 19 is 57, 4 square. So, that is otherwise 57 for us. So, under root of 3 to 4 9 is 57 means the square root of 3 to 4 9 is 57. So, we have in second option as well as four or fourth option. Both of them we can consider as right answers. Let us see the next question. The square root of 12.25 is Whenever you have 12.25 means we have a decimal part in this What we have to do? Whenever you have a decimal part of that You make it an integral part How to convert it into integer? You just write 12.25 upon 1 after 2 zeros Divide with 100 Because after decimal you have 2 digits So 1 after 2 zeros if you write in denominator That particular total fraction becomes equal to 12.25 Fine. Now 12.25, let us try to write it in its as prime factors. So 1, 2, 2, that is 5, 5, 10. 10 is not divisible by 3. So let us divide with 5. So 2, 5 is a 10. 22, 4 times 20, 5 times 2, 45. Again with 5, 4 times 20, 9 times. Again 49 means 7 into 7. So 12.25 we can write as 5 square into 7 square. So 12.25 we can write as 5 into 7 whole square by here 100 is 10 square right therefore under root of 12.25 that is going to be under root of 35 by 10 that is 3.5 whole square so that is otherwise 3.5 for us that is the right answer which of the options we have first option we have as 3.5 so that is the right answer let us see the last question of this assignment find the square root of 17.64 17.64, how can you write? You can write it as 17.64 by 100. Fine. Now 17.64 prime factors. If you take 2 times 882, again 2 times 441, again 3 times 147, 3, 49, 7 times 7. Okay. So 17.64 we can write as 2 into 3 into 7 whole square upon 10 square so under root of 17.64 is nothing but it is 42 by 10 
whole square root over 4 point 2 whole square that is nothing but 4 point 2 for us that is second option so that is the right answer okay so that is the end of this assignment thank you have a great day